love artichokes. Not to be mistaken with Jerusalem artichokes, which are very different to a globe artichoke. Now, this is an American variety, but when it's the season, I love to show people how to cook them because they can be a little bit intimidating. And you may have tried the marinated artichokes. Usually you put it on an antipasto platter. But I want to show you how to prep these from scratch. So when you buy them, they look like this, and you're looking for quite heavy ones. Now, before I prep this, I want to do a stuffing because I'm going to serve this Italian style, which is stuffed with breadcrumbs, anchovies, garlic, all the good things. So into this bowl, I've got some fresh breadcrumbs. Fresh breadcrumbs as in it's three days old, ideally sourdough. I've taken the crust off and I've just blended it in my food processor until we've got a fine crumb. To this, we're going to add two cloves of garlic along with some anchovies. Now use good quality anchovies for this, nice fat ones and I'm going to use three or four of them. These are going to cook down and not be fishy at all. In fact, they're just going to be quite savoury. So we'll take them out of the jar and I'm just sort of making a bit of a pile here just so I can chop everything together. To this little pile, we'll add some parsley. So a few sprigs of parsley, stalks and all. And I like to just sort of crush the garlic first with the back of my knife and the other one. And now we're just going to chop everything together. And by chopping everything together, we're making this little flavour bomb, if you like. The flavour is just going to really be absorbed by our gorgeous artichokes. So with the stalks, we just want to finely chop the stalks. And then we don't have to be as pedantic with the leaves. So just scrunch up the leaves and then chop that. And nice sharp knife for this is going to make life a lot easier. Now you do want to run your knife through this three to four times at least. So it's super fine because as I mix this through the breadcrumbs, we want to be able to get it in amongst the leaves of the artichoke. If it's too chunky, it won't sit nicely. Okay, that is looking good. So we can add that to our bowl of breadcrumbs. In it goes. Scoop up all of that. So much beautiful flavour there. And we need the zing of lemon. And I'm only using the lemon zest, the zest of one whole lemon. Grate that straight over the bowl so all that flavour goes in there. And when you're grating, be sure just to grate that deep yellow colour. If you're grating the pith there, then that's the bitter part. So you can see me rolling that lemon over my fine grater just to get the pure essence of that gorgeous lemon zest. Oh, it smells good. Great. Now, it's not Italian without a little bit of pecorino or parmesan. I like pecorino. It's a little sharper and bitier in flavour. We want about a handful of freshly grated pecorino. That's about right. OK. General seasoning, pinch of salt and some pepper, freshly cracked pepper, and then mix everything together. So really distribute the anchovies and the garlic, the lemon zest there, and even just get your hands in there and crumble it together. That is just so yummy. You can imagine what this is going to taste like when it's combined with the artichokes. Done. Let's put that to the side and I want to show you how to prep an artichoke. Now in France when we serve these we just steam them as is and pick off the leaves as we eat it because there's still so much flesh on the leaves. But this Italian style, in particular Roman style way of preparing an artichoke, we want to take a few layers of the tough leaves off. And artichoke comes from the thistle family so you can see why it looks like a beautiful flower got a really nutty sweet flavour as it cooks. So once you start to get to the tender part, just like that, we can stop. And you'll notice that I have a bowl that I've prepared here earlier. So this is acidulated water. It's just lemon juice and water. And we do this because they oxidise quite quickly. So I have that prepared on the side. To finish this off, I don't want to take away too much of the stalk because there's so much flavour in here. But do use a little peeler just to peel around and down the sides. And you want to work fast so it doesn't go too brown. You want to keep that gorgeous colour. Keep going down and around. And you'll see it's a little bit woody, but that's okay. We want to cut and trim the base. And then the top. So you want to just take off about a third. 
So just those thistly tops. And if you want to prep it even further, you can just get yourself a spoon or a melon baller and scoop out the centre because there's like a hairy centre part which is not very edible. But I actually don't mind because as I eat this, I peel around it and you can just take it out once it's cooked. Okay, straight into the water just to keep it really nice and bright. See how they haven't browned much at all. And now for the fun part, which is stuffing the artichoke. We'll bring this back in and we'll start with one at a time. Just squeeze out any excess water and see how tight the leaves are. So you just want to loosen them up slightly just so we've got some space to stuff them. So you can start from the inside or out, work over the bowl and we're going to start adding that breadcrumb. So use your fingers to really get in there. It's a bit of a messy job, but I guarantee you it's worth it because it just tastes so good. The artichokes are stuffed and now we need a little liquid so it can cook. So I like to add some white wine, so we'll drizzle that over. And at the base of this dish, I have two bay leaves. You could also use some thyme for this recipe. Now we need about three quarters of a cup of good quality extra virgin olive oil. Now you want good quality because it does form the sauce. And once I've added that, we're going to add some salt, just another pinch of salt, just to season the outside, cover it with some foil, and then it goes into the oven. And I'm going to bake these for about 25 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees. You just need to check them. You'll know that they're cooked when they're really tender. So if you get a skewer and just pierce it just through this point right here, if it comes out really easily, they're cooked. cooked. They actually needed another 15 minutes. So you want to cook them for about 45 minutes to an hour until they're tender. But like I said, it really depends on how large your artichokes are. And the reveal. Oh, look at that. Look how they're still bubbling away. And that's because we've actually cooked it in this gorgeous earthenware dish. Now I would take this to the table as is. It can be a main or it can be a beautiful entree. I like to serve it with a little bit of parsley over the top. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? And because of that delicious oily white wine sauce in the bottom of it, definitely serve it with lots and lots of bread. I'm just gonna taste that oil down the bottom there. Mm, that sauce is fantastic, which means I know these artichokes are gonna be even better. 